Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today I am very excited to show off something that I just picked up off Facebook Marketplace. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, like I said, I have something really cool to show off that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace. Um, yeah, this is just a really, really cool um, thing that I found. Uh, if you saw the thumbnail, it's kind of, that already kind of gave it away, but I got, I'm gonna try lift this into frame, but it's very heavy. This giant box of eight millimeter film. So I am, very excited uh, to talk about this and kind of go through it with you guys. But before I jump into the box of film, I did get uh, one package in the mail uh, from Vinegar Syndrome that I'm going to quickly go through. I only had three items in this one um, from their, um, I don't know, their warehouse sale, uh, Labor Day sale, I believe. Uh, and so um, there was a couple things that I got that uh, I just wanted to quickly share on here before I get into all of that. But um, like I said, there's only three items that I picked up. I wish that I could have grabbed more, but there wasn't a whole lot that I was really interested in. Uh, but the first one that I got, uh, this looked kind of interesting, was the film Uninvited. So I believe this is now out of print uh, completely. Uh, unfortunately, they were sold out of the ones with the slipcover, so I just have the standard Blu-ray, which is uh, fine. But yeah, the first one was the Uninvited. It looks like something to do with a cruise ship, which I love the environment of cruise ships within horror films. So. Um, this looked right up my alley. So that was the first. The next one I got was the film Snapshot. So I know nothing about it. It looked kind of interesting. Uh, and so it's another one. And the last one that I picked up from them, uh, like I said, I wish that I could have grabbed more, but, um, yeah, this time around it just seems that every time there's a sale, you know, it's just the worst possible time uh, financially for it. But uh, this one is the limited edition uh, one with the slipcover, and it is a 4K, which I'm excited about. And that is the film The Incredible Melting Man. And so I believe Red Letter Media did a review of this film a couple months ago, maybe a year ago. Um, but yes, yeah, the uh, the 4K. And I remember watching their review of it, and it looked fairly interesting. So I'm um, excited to uh, check that out. So I was scrolling through Facebook the other night and I came across this um, giant lot of 8mm or Super 8 and 8mm film. Uh, what really caught my eye was one item in, uh, particularly in here. Uh, and I usually don't see film a lot on Facebook and usually if, it, if I do see it I try to grab it because I know that uh, obviously with you know, Criterion, Vinegar Syndrome, whatever, like any other title that might go out of print, um, you know, those films are going to be available uh, at some point on whether that's eBay or like another reselling like Facebook page or anything. Uh, so like technically if something does go out of print, uh, you could pick it up somewhere else uh, used on this, you know, secondhand market. But the only thing with film, uh, some of the stuff was only put on film like once. And like, for example, like obviously like Charlie Chaplin films, so and there's a few things in here that are like this, that are like mass produced. Uh, that way you would buy in the store uh, and be able to watch at home on film. And they were, you know, made multiple mul like copies of them. Uh, but some of the things are like people's personal footage of like family vacations or um, in this instance was you'll see uh, was like uh, just little film projects and stuff like that. And so I find that stuff kind of fascinating. Uh, it's kind of like almost like a time capsule of what life was like. Uh, like um, I have footage like on another area, another like on the other side of my library where I have uh, my film, I have like people's Christmas vacation from like the 50s and it's just kind of cool to see what people would be getting as gifts in the 50s, like what kind of life was like and stuff like that. I have a um, one that's like a space, a, I think it was Apollo 11 like space shuttle launch uh, that was like they took a family vacation to Florida to see that and now I have that film reel. I just think it's kind of uh, fascinating and cool. So. Uh, there was a couple things in that, in this like lot that were like that. And um, 
yeah, but there were also a few things that I did not have in my collection. And so I'm very excited to uh, dive in and kind of show you guys everything that I got. So uh, starting things off, um, I'm going to just talk about this really quick uh, because it's not really, I wasn't expecting this to be in this lot, but it, it is, and I'm very excited. Uh, it is brand new Super 8 millimeter film stock. So this is 50 feet or 15 minutes of black and white um, uh, Kodak film stock. And I have a decent, there's actually a decent amount in here. Um, and in each one of these, there's like a like a plastic film container uh, with like film that's a negative um, that you would basically put into a camera and then you can shoot whatever you want with it. Um, obviously, like film cameras, you have to get that developed somewhere. So that's kind of like the, the tricky part is finding somewhere to develop that film. Uh, but I do have cameras that will take that like that film. So it's kind of fun that I can, you know, actually film something on eight millimeter film and, you know, potentially have that, you know, uh, developed. But yeah, I'm very happy with that because I, that stuff like that is getting harder and harder to find. Uh, I don't know exactly if it's still like good or not. I don't know if it expires or if there's really expiration dates on st that stuff, which I feel like there is, but, um, Either way, it's just kind of cool to have brand new film stock. And I should add to that. There were a few more, uh, film stock as well. Uh, this is, let's see color movie film. So this is also Super 8. This is a cartridge. And this one's actually open, so I'll kind of show you what I mean. Uh, this is a, a film cartridge, if it will focus on that. Um, so, oh, it's upside down, I'm sorry. Um, so it's just like in this little plastic container that on the one side you see the film. Uh, obviously this little spot here would be useless now because it's been exposed to the light, but that is fine. Uh, so. Yeah, he, uh, the person I bought this off of, they apparently were really into making film, like we're making movies on film. And so uh, this is sound color film, I think, or this one, this is a uh, um, Super 8, which is with a magnetic sound strip, which is um, really cool. Uh, so you don't see this too often. I have no idea what any of this stuff's really worth, but uh, I do know some of it's worth money, I guess, but... Um, so yeah, there was a few more of those, I guess, new, uh, film stock. And then they also had just a bunch of these like home videos on eight millimeter film. And I've scrubbed through a few of them so far. Uh, I have like a, a, um, eight millimeter, I have the super eight and eight millimeter film like projector, but I also have a, like an eight millimeter, um, editor. So you can actually put the two reels on and kind of like spin them and like see them on a little screen of like what is on the actual um, like film because it is harder to hold it up to the light and see because it's um, such small frames. But um, yeah, I would say I, I scrubbed through some of it and it seems like it's a lot of like family vacations. Uh, there's some in here marked uh, like cats, I guess. Um, this has moon landing, I guess this one in particular. Uh, I think it's just, it's like, I think this is reproduction, like, um, what am I trying to say? This is like footage that you would have bought in like a store, uh, whether that would be, you know, camera shops or whatever, selling like footage that was taken from the moon landing and then resold to the public. Um, so yeah, there's a, like, this is like school films. Um, let's see what else is on here. Creation of, uh, creation of the world. Um, and so I think there's just like, it's a kids in a classroom, um, stories, animation. So, um, yeah, I think the guy that I bought this off of, he, it seems like he, he made like a lot of like school, uh, like films, like he would make, I guess, films for school. I guess that's the easiest way to put it. But, um, I'm very excited because I, I love, I mean, this one's, uh, cats on beach. So, um, beach house, and Gene Chuck Cat Sunset, 1966. Um, I think it's just fascinating to see like people's like life, you know, back in 1960. Uh, and so I have just, it's fun to like, I guess, look through all that. Um, and then I'm just gonna run through these real quick because these are just more of the same. I mean, this is summer of 1966, uh, summer of 1966, number two, cats playing. Uh, Logan Dinner, no idea. 
um, jeans class, Christmas 1966. Um, this is like a to be edited uh, film clips, silent movies, um, house cats, and chagrin falls. So. Um, I ended up driving actually an hour to pick all these up, um, but I'm glad that I did because when I get to what I really want to show, um, yeah, I'm very excited about what I uh, what I picked up. Um, and they also just had like extra film reels as well. Uh, so these are just more like family stuff all on a film reel, but I'm not going to go through every single one in particular because, you know, those aren't the interesting thing. What I'm going to get to, that's what's really interesting. And again, just more film reels. Uh, this is Zoo Animals. Uh, just another reel. Uh, school film. And let's see, School Film 1980. So. And then there's just a uh, another film reel in here. Um, I haven't had a chance to like go through all of this, so I really have no idea what's on some of this stuff, but um, this is actually 16 millimeter film. So he had a couple of 16 millimeter films in here. Uh, so this is, I guess, like a classroom movie, um, like what they would show in schools. So I have a bunch of that stuff now, but, uh, and then this is, I guess, something, I need to watch this actually, but it looks like it's filmed, it's like a black and white. It shows like a, uh, like a car on a city street or something. So I'm assuming, you know, something older. Um, and the last 16 millimeter one that he had, uh, what makes man, and then it's ripped off on the end. I think this is like what makes man human or something like that. I, I feel like I played through a little bit of it, but I think this is actually like an educational film or something along those lines. And then along with uh, this um, lot, there was actually this really cool really old projector and so this is like a hand crank type of situation um i think yeah made in france and i i took off the cord it had a uh, a cord with it but the cord is kind of falling apart so i just uh disconnected it for now but i want to try clean this up uh, maybe restore it a little bit to actually maybe use it um which is it's very fascinating because the actual um for the, these actual film, it's like the the little like holes that actually like, you know, when you crank a camera or a projector or when it runs through, um, they, they usually, they're usually on like the one side of the, um, the film itself. And so, or both sides, but these, the actual holes are in the middle of the frame. And so I'm very curious what year this is from, uh, because these seem very old. Uh, there's no date on any of them, which is unfortunate, but, um, yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to have to do some research on this and find out more about it. But uh, if anybody knows anything about a, a projector like this old, uh, let me know because it's I'm very curious on it. I've never actually seen one this old. It's pretty heavy. Um, and I think it's kind of cool that it's all like hand cranking. I'm very excited to add this to my collection because I think that's really neat. And then there was also a, a stack of these uh, Super 8 millimeter. Uh, films now these I believe these are like trailers uh, or like little like um, like cartoons or uh, stuff that's basically just like you know like s clips from a, a movie or something they're definitely not feature films by any means because they're so small uh, I mean this is the size of each reel um, so it's it's not you know nearly long enough to be a movie but they might be cartoons or whatever but i'm just going to run through these real quick um some of them are a little water damaged but the film itself looks fine so there's that one um here's this one um with a little description on the front if you can read that uh, this one i thought was really cool um this is the invisible man um so i have no idea you know, obviously not the feature film, The Invisible Man, but uh, even if it's just like little snippets of the film, I think it's kind of cool. Um, this is Love and Duty, um, 13 minutes. I have no idea what that is, but um, A Farewell to Arms. 
I thought this was kind of cool too. This is a uh, the from Walt Disney's original feature Sleeping Beauty. This is the Prince and the Dragon. So I'm assuming this might be just like the little spot of the film where the prince fights the dragon, um, which is kind of fun. So I have that now. Um, this is Tom Thumb. So I have no idea. This is only seven minutes. I have no idea, you know, what some of these are. I'm assuming this is also just a little snippet from uh, The Three Little Pigs. So there's some Disney in here, which is fun. Um, and along with that is The Ugly Duckling. Uh, his musical career. And yeah, this is can't read that it's too faded but um yeah just another one I'm not sure what it says but um and then the two that I was excited that I saw in the photo that um I'm looking forward to actually putting in the projector and watching them uh, I mean not saying I want to do that for all of these but uh these in uh, particularly uh this is the the I guess the undead so I think this is just snippets from a movie called the undead uh, so it's kind of cool to have like a horror kind of like film within it and then this one I've been wanting this for a while um, but I never wanted to pay eBay pricing for it um, but that is let's see if there's a timestamp let's see yeah I'm not sure how long uh, it's it runs but that is um, a little bit of Star Wars on film so I'm excited to add this. I do have a like an eight millimeter uh, Star Wars reel, which is like 17 minutes or so. And um, I don't have this one. This is like a smaller one, obviously. And so uh, I'm excited to have both of them now. And then the last stack that they had um, in this lot, I'll show it quickly, uh, is just these are more uh, like longer reels. And so um, this is, let's see. This is from D.W. Griffith, um, Brilliant Chase Melodrama. Uh, this is Unseen Enemy and something, I think it's faded out. Um, but this is 15 minutes of that. Um, and then this is uh, Feet of Mud. So again, no idea, would have to watch some of these. Uh, Liberty, Lauren Hardy. Um, so we got some Charlie Chaplin. Uh, this is a night at the show. And then this one I thought was kind of interesting. This is a uh, Sherlock Holmes in Washington. And so I, um, yeah, I think it's kind of fun to have a Sherlock Holmes movie on eight millimeter uh, film. Um, let's see, his marriage, wow. Another chaplain, uh, this is the tramp. Um, I don't think this is the, I'm assuming this is just like clips of him because the tramp is, or this might be a short film, but the tramp is the character that Charlie Chaplin would often play in his movies, but. Um, then some more Lauren Hardy, this is a murder case. and busy bodies and then the next one that i'm actually um really excited to check out uh this is the film dr jekyll and mr hyde so i have no idea if this is like this dr jekyll and mr hyde uh from 1920 i have absolutely no idea but if it is i think that's really really cool um and so I'm very excited to uh, run that through the projector and uh, check it out. And the last item that I was really excited to see, uh, that really what caught my eye in this whole lot, uh, was this. This is Star Wars. So this is another 17 minutes of Star Wars footage that I have no idea if this is the same reel as the one that I have currently. Uh, but if, it's, if it is, that's still really cool to have another copy. Um, but if it's not... Uh, I basically would, that would, would pretty much mean that I would have like 
34 minutes roughly um, of the Star Wars, like the first Star Wars movie on eight millimeter. So I need to um, run this through and kind of compare it to my current reel and kind of see, um, you know, if there's differences or not. But um, either way, it's really cool to have that. And so, yeah, I'm very happy that I picked this up. I think it's like such a cool thing to uh, collect. Um, but let me know in the comments down below if you want to see anything more uh, up close or if there's anything that, um, I don't know, you want to know about this stuff. Um, I'd be glad to uh, answer any questions. But um, yeah, I, um, I will say that I did add a, um, I kind of am going to be on a schedule a little bit more. Uh, I think I might have mentioned this in my last video, uh, or I at least mentioned this on my um, one live stream that I did, that uh, every Sunday night, um, so around 7 or 8 o'clock roughly, is going to be a Sunday live stream on this channel. And um, I'll be kind of talking about movies that I watched in that previous week. And so... Um, and just kind of giving my thoughts on them and recommending them or not recommending them or whatever, um, answering any questions that people may have. And um, I love doing it. I love interacting with you guys on there. I think it's such a fun part of YouTube. Uh, and then on Tuesdays and Fridays, I'll be posting videos. And so I believe this video will be posted on Friday. And so, um, yeah, just keep an eye out for that. And let me know in the comments down below if there is any type of video that you want me to make. Um, I love making these videos. They're, I'm having so much fun with this. Um, and yeah, I'm, uh, with Halloween right around the corner, I'm going to be doing a, um, a lot more horror-related content uh, for the month of October. So keep an eye out for that if that's something that you're interested in. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.